Welcome to the Motivate Grind Succeed podcast, where my goal is to give you practical, usable tips and takeaways that you can use to maximize your productivity, improve your faith, push yourself to that next level, and live up to 101% of your potential. I am not here to waste your time with long intros, unnecessarily long uploads, and spammy advice because that does good for no one. I get straight to the point so you can get maximum value out of every episode. Now with that, Let's get you straight into this week's episode. Oh, hey, you're back. I, like I said, if you're listening to this uh, after the last episode from the double upload, welcome back. I'm glad you want to hear my voice twice in one day. If you're not, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I did a double upload today, so if you have no idea, you can go back and listen to the other episode that I did about an hour before this one released, and it's about four ways to have more natural energy. But again, if you're here for the double upload today, you saw the title again, and yes, there will be an important announcement at the end, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But before we get to that, let's get into what you all actually came for. So, question, why don't people lean into or fall into their purpose? Why is it that so many times a great opportunity will present itself only for an individual to let it go by the wayside? If we break it down to the root cause, chances are that it probably has to deal with fear and anxiety. These are extremely crippling and not only undermine our daily performance, but also prevent us from doing what we were called to do. So today we are talking about fear and anxiety and what you can do to prevent it from having such a strong hold on your life. Now, as I said before, well, I didn't say this before, but this is by no means healthcare advice. So don't see me as a doctor giving a diagnosis. If you have serious chronic anxiety or some serious chronic issues, please seek professional help. And also now, now this part is what I actually said before. Um, stick to the to the end of the episode because I'll be giving a very special announcement that you'll definitely want to stay tuned for. So let's begin this week's episode. To lessen the impact of fear and anxiety in your life, the first thing you need to do is to determine the source of it. In the same way that it's pretty difficult to prescribe a medication to an unknown illness, it's pretty difficult to try to find ways to lessen your fear slash anxiety if you have no idea what it is. To help with this, find out what situations or people inspire fear in you and then follow the five whys which is literally just asking yourself the question why five times. Remember, though, the only way this five whys method can work is if you are 101% honest with yourself and the answers that you give. As an example, let's use one of the most common fears, public speaking. Okay, you're going to start this off by saying, I am fearful of, and then insert the fear here, or insert the fear here, gives me anxiety. So using that, We're going to start with that, and I want you to count the whys that I use as we go through this example. So, we'll start. I am fearful of public speaking. Why? Because I don't like talking in front of people. Why? Because when people look at me for a long period of time, I get really, really nervous. Why? I feel like they're judging me, just waiting for me to make a mistake. Well, why? When I was 12 years old, I missed a whole paragraph during reading a passage in front of a class and everybody laughed at me. And since then, I, I, I really don't want to be embarrassed like that again. And there you go. I know kind of kind of a corny, cringy example of what it is, but you get the idea Four whys in and we got down to the root cause. So the reason why this straw man individual is fearful of public speaking is because of a past bad experience. So now from this point on, now that we have that root cause. This individual can now start to do their own research and realize that most people are actually scared stiff of public speaking. And the ones that make fun of the speaker are usually the ones who are the most fearful. The second thing to do is to realize that life happens for you and not to you. Say that one more time. Realize that life happens for you and not to you. So many times we say, why is this happening to me? when we should actually be saying, what is this trying to teach me? It's a mindset shift. Once you start seeing that every tribulation has a teachable moment, your life will change. Some days the lesson is patience. Other days it's joy. Other times it's optimism. 
Whatever the lesson is, you have to look for what you can take out of every situation that life hands you and make the best of it. It's like the saying that I just made up just now. When life hands you lemons, make a carrot smoothie and leave the world wondering how you just did it. Third thing, just like Thanos, failure is inevitable. Insert snappy fingers here. If you're fearful of failing, then I got to tell you. Okay, okay, come in real close. I got to tell you. Fear won't go away because you will fail. I will fail. We will all eventually fail at something sometime. Oh, okay, you can back away now. So, some standard won't be attained. Some goal will be missed. Some deadline will be overlooked. But that's okay because we all have our days. Just don't use that as an excuse to do poorly with things on purpose and then use it as a cop out saying, I'm only human or, okay, Mr. or Mrs. Perfect, I'm not at your level yet. And speaking of excuses, that's actually my fourth and final point is that if you want to reduce your fear in whatever situation you're experiencing it in, you cannot keep making excuses, period, full stop. Wax seal the envelope and send it off. Making excuses only gives you a mental cop out and kicks the figurative can down the road because the situation will, not can, but will come up again. And if you don't address it, it'll come up again. It's just how these things work. You have to address the fear head on. So when it does come up again, I would recommend using the five Y strategy to get to the root cause of the situation. And so that's all I have for you today. I know pretty short, but it's because of one, the double upload and two, the special announcement. So here's the announcement, guys. This is episode 43 of the MGS, which is short for Motivate, Grind, Succeed podcast. And honestly, I'm having an absolute blast making this show. Like it is so, so much fun making this show and all the things that I'm doing on the back end and all the guests that I talk to and every, it's so much fun. Okay. So much fun. And I'm very proud to say that other than last week, I have never missed a weekly episode upload. And like I said, the reason I missed was because of just plain old mental exhaustion. I thought honestly that taking a week off would help and it did a little bit. But during that time off, I realized that there are a lot of loose ends on the back end of the show, a lot of quality of life changes that would need to be made to improve the show as a whole and, you know, the whole nine yards. So instead of going off into this long tangent about what needs to be fixed, I'll make this a very short story. This will be the last episode of MGS for a while. Don't worry, unlike those YouTube content creators who never come back after like six or seven years, I will be back. I'm just not sure how long I'll be gone for yet. But during my absence from uploading episodes, you'll see me a little more active on IG because if you've been following me there, you know I've been, I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking on IG and I'm gonna start trying to use Twitter. I might even be experimenting with Clubhouse. Who knows? Wink, wink. No promises, though. And I'll be busy revamping the show, getting more guests, fixing artworks, fixing the website. Yes, there is a website. Don't go to it. It's ugly. And changing, adding music. It's just overall making it a more fun show for you to listen to and for me to produce. So for updates, just keep checking the IG. Keep checking the Twitter. I'll leave both of those links in the description of this episode. And also, in case you're, you know, you still want to submit episode ideas, like I said in the episode about what, an hour ago, you can still do that. You can drop an episode idea in one of the links down below. It'll be there as well. You can do that. And I'm not going to promise that I'll get an episode up the next week, but uh, during this, during this revamping period, but I will definitely take it and I will definitely look into it. So with all that out of the way, I will leave you with the slightly modified outro. Subscribe to the show if you found it useful. And don't forget to share the episode if you believe that somebody can benefit. Leave a comment and a five-star review if you think that this podcast is worth it. Take care of yourselves. And it's not even I'll see you all next time, but I'll see you all when I return. Take care, guys.